Hey, what's good viewers? Today I've got the Bandai Thunder Effects. I got the yellow version and the blue version. I was going to do them separately, but why waste your time? They're pretty much exactly the same, except for the fact they're different colors. So, let's do them at the same time. We'll take a look at the boxes. They're going to be pretty much the same. Actually, they'll be exactly the same. So, we'll take a look at the yellow one here. It shows you all the effect pieces that it comes with. They're on the left of the box, and on the right they have some displays, what you can use it for. Everything's in Japanese, so no, I can't read it. On the side here, let me get some just branding. It's whatever. It's all good. It's all a little bit of the same. I would like to state a minor complaint of mine. As you can see, you know, there's not a lot in here. It is, it takes up a lot of space, kind of, um, but it's not really a dense. It's not a figure. There's lots of space in between. And it's a minor complaint, and they did it with the other effects as well, but I wish they would choose smaller boxes because it would really, really help on shipping because, you know, I'm getting these from a different country and shipping sucks. It's not a huge complaint, but it's something to think about. I mean, here's an actual figure. I mean, look how much bigger this box is compared to an actual figure box. This is the Tamashi DeMar... Well, this is the uh, Bandai SH Figuarts Darth Mall. But, I mean, just size-wise... It's pretty incredible just how much bigger it is. So I got everything out here for your viewing pleasure. I guess we'll go with the small parts first. I'm going to break it down. Uh, first, you're going to see that this is a lot longer than that one. That's just because it came with an extra piece that's located in the back here. It is in the front. And I just, you know, figured it probably went up here. And it did. So there you go. And now you got them both like that. It's just a separate piece that you can unhook. And then we got these pieces that are kind of, uh, they look like they go around wrists, I would say. Kind of, I mean, they do go around wrists. They don't look like it. They do. I'm trying to look for a figure here to the side. I don't really have one to the side, so I can't show you, but use your damn imagination. It goes around the wrist. You guys are playing with toys, so you better have some imagination. I'm kind of looking at it here to see if any of these come apart in any way. Because I know the flame effects, if you had those... They actually came apart right here. You can pull them apart and then we'll look at the base part. And to tell you the truth, I haven't looked at the box so much to see exactly how these come apart or exactly what they do. I'm just kind of kind of uh, wing it. So wing it with me and we'll kind of explore this figure together. So I'm going to take that top off. <laughs> take the top off. I'm sure this comes apart somewhere up here. It's all of a matter of finding out where. I may cheat and actually look at the box. You would never know because I'll just pause it. Oh, there we go. It's okay. We got our first base part off. I'm gonna put the uh, put the box right there beside me so I can see it. You can't really see it, but it's. I promise you, it's there. So it looks like uh, the stage thing. And this actually is one piece. So don't mind these pieces over here. Those are like the wrist pieces. This is the piece that went the very top. Got that off. Um, I can take this off. It looks like, and it looks like that's all you can take off. Huh? <laughs> um. Okay, I thought you could take off a lot more. I'm really surprised at that right now. I'm actually a little bit uh, disappointed. I thought you'd be able to take it off at a lot more points. Sorry if I seem a little quiet right now. I'm not sure, like, I seem unsure because I am unsure at the moment, actually, because I really thought there'd be a lot more to this. I thought you could uh, break it apart a lot more. I thought it would come apart a lot more than that. I'm actually not really happy about that. You know, I feel like it just takes away from our creativity the less we can take it apart. This part is actually really tough to get off. There you go. And it's kind of just a, uh, not really a cylindrical. It's not cylindrical. It's kind of just a wedge that you kind of stick in there. And this other base part. And if you can see why I might be confused as to why this doesn't come apart, because it does look like two separate pieces, as you can see as I turn it around. And uh, these look like separate pieces right here, so I thought maybe they'd come apart, but uh, they don't. It looks like a peg hole, so maybe it can go into some figure's hands that have peg holes in their hands. That's what it is. And I tried to just open it up in front of you guys, but it looks really good. Um, but my final decision was, or is, that I'm actually a little bit disappointed. I thought I was going to be able to break it down a little bit more. I thought I was going to be able to take all these pieces off. 
Uh, it's just not as dynamic as I would hope. Uh, it's not as creative as I hoped. It kind of stifles my creativity a little bit, I feel. I see there's a little peg hole right here. I'm sure you can use for different things, like a Tamashi stage effects. You can actually put the stage peg hole right inside here. Um, there's a peg hole back here. There's a peg hole in the bottom of this top piece. And then, of course, the wrist pieces. Um, of course, it's also the same for the blue part. But uh, personally, I am I'm a bit uh, disappointed. I wish this was a peg hole as well. Like I said earlier, this is a wedge. Uh, if it was a peg hole, it'd probably fit into the bottoms of feet better. But now that it's not a peg hole, I can personally see me having trouble with uh, putting a figure like on this base if I wanted to. Because this is just sticking out right here. That is also a little bit disappointing. I don't understand why these two pieces don't come apart. and I'm, I feel like they should. Maybe I'll break it on camera, but I guess not. So yeah, I'm just a little bit disappointed overall with it. Would I recommend it? I don't know, because after you watch this review, you decide whether you're not a wanna. I, can, I can't really say I want to recommend it, which is kind of bad in itself, because if I don't want to recommend it to you, then that must mean I don't think it's very good. But at the same time, it does look good, but at the same time, it... I'm just, I'm kind of uh, dumbfounded by how little creativity they've given us. So, well, you'll just have to work around it. If you feel like you can work around the design, then all, by all means, go for it. Excuse me, if you can't, then uh, don't buy it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out.